a very good morning to all of you welcome you all in two week faculty development program on quality of teaching learning and research qtlr organized by iqac isfcp in collaboration with apti punjab state branch today we have eminent scientist and great professor dr kali charan sharma from department of pharmaceutical chemistry and analysis isf college of pharmacy we welcome you dr kali charan in this two week fdp program and requested you to please proceed further please sir so a uh, very good morning uh, and respected coordinator sir faculty members and participants i am dr kalicharan sharma from isf college of pharmacy moga today under this two uh, weeks fdp on quality of teaching learning and research i will be discussing on uh, hazard symbols their prevention and overview of the msds materials safety and data sheets so uh, this topic is not essential on the laboratory safety purpose but also for the regulatory compliance and teaching best laboratory practices so for further uh, proceed with the introduction of the hazard so uh, what is hazard actually and uh, we know about this symbol so uh, let us begin with the basic concept of the hazard so ha hazard is any chemical physical or biological agent that has potential to cause harm to human health and laboratory infrastructure or environment in pharmaceutical laboratory hazard cannot be eliminated completely but the can uh, uh, identified or communicated or and controlled so next why uh, hazard uh, hazard awareness is important so uh, this is the st statistics uh, given in this uh, chart so uh, according to the global report on uh, process safety incident in the pharmaceutical industry a large proportion of the laboratory accident occurred due to the poor hazard and poor prevention control on the hazards so for the hazard uh, reg, uh, hazards there is a one regulation uh, that is belongs to uh, united kingdom that uh, full form is uh, C, uh, control of substance hazard to health cosh guideline so this is a set of regulation uh, put in place to uh, protect the worker from ill health or working with the specific substance material like this so there is a uh, many uh, uh, hazard symbols uh, uh, found in the various uh, chemicals various substances used in our laboratory purpose so the health hazard symbol represents chemical that cause long term and chronic health effects so these include carcinogenicity reproductive toxicity and respiratory sensitization organ toxicity unlike acute toxicity or some carcinogenic Uh, toxicity uh, uh, there is a, a substance may appear after prolonged exposure of the particular chemical or substances handling uh, this is the uh, symbol uh, represent the uh, carcinogens so uh, what is uh, while, while handling the carcin uh, carcinogenic substance so when handling carcinogenic substance strict ppe compliance is mandatory so this includes safety goggles should be there to bear the uh, uh, to protect the eyes impermeable gloves respiratory wear required respirators uh, wear, wear required lab coats and closed foot wear such uh, chemicals must be always be handled inside a fume hood so this is the prevention of the uh, 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 carcinogenic uh, substances handling so a cancer causing uh, agent like carcinogenic substance with the uh, respiratory reproductive organ toxicity this that cause uh, damage so uh, the prevention should be by personal protective equipment must, uh, must be uh, wearing while uh, handling the carcinogens this symbols represents the flame so uh, uh, what what uh, what is the flame flammable uh, and fl uh, flammable material so a uh, flammable material substance liable for self ignite when exposed to the water uh, air 
or which emit flammable gases so uh, like and butyl lithium and some other pyrophoric chemicals like uh, platinum and uh, 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 lead containing compounds so uh, there is one incident uh, that seri sengi that, that you uh, see the this uh, image so that died uh, in 2009 she is working in uh, university of california in a tertiary vital lithium so exposure of that uh, is very very uh, dangerous this is the exclamation mark this is the exclamation mark so the exclamation mark symbol indicate chemical that cause immediate but less severe health effect these includes skin irritation eye irritation respiratory irritation and chronic effects such as dizziness drowsiness etc so in this the chlorine ammonia solution is there so how we will protect we just wear the goggle and uh, we, uh, keep uh, uh, the direct inhalation of this uh, keep away from the direct uh, exposure of the chlorine and ammonia directly that will affect the respiratory tract so uh, and this this symbol represent the gas cylinder symbol so what the gas store under pressure such as ammonia or liquid nitrogen that can directly ha harm your body if they uh, explode so liquid there is a liquid nitro uh, nitrogen and ammonia gas comes in this symbol corrosion symbol this is the corrosion uh, symbol uh, represent the corrosive material so material causing skin corrosion and burns eye damage or contact or that are corrosive to the metals so hcl and sodium hydroxide uh, and some other uh, chemicals are corrosive in nature so that can cause the uh, 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 skin uh, problem and uh, also uh, corrode the other material as well this symbol uh, represent the exploding bomb symbol so uh, this symbol uh, explodes uh, uh, explode the uh, explosive including organic peroxides and highly unstable material at risk of exploding even without exposure to the air in this nitroglycerin bombs etc and where this symbol uh, in uh, represent the environmental hazard chemical toxic to the aquatic wildlife so uh, in this pesticides and some uh, uh, other heavy metals are there so uh, and what is fire hazard last one is fire hazard so the most common hazard is fire hazard it may be due to the explosion of the pyrophoric reagent electrical spark or open flames so fire hazard significant risk uh, like uh, uh, laboratory industry facility and residential areas fires to address this fire hazard there is a safety protocols regular risk assessment and training for the personnel to uh, uh, to train the uh, particular personnel against the uh, that, that particular type of the incident so this includes the use of flame resistant clothing proper storage of the flammable material and the installation of the fire Uh, extinguishers handling of fire hazard so these uh, type of the uh, different different uh, fire hazard uh, uh, extinguishers are there so where is a uh, uh, fire uh, type a b c d e uh, d or k so uh, type a for the cloth wood rubber paper plastics fire and type b for the gasoline grease oil and type c electrical fires are there then we use uh, this uh, type c fire extinguishers then uh, for combustible metals so we use uh, type d then k for the kitchen fires now solvent in pharmaceutical uh, solvents as per the uh, ics guideline q3c so impurities like uh, residual solvents and classification the, uh, so in this class 1 class 2 class 3 so based on the categories uh, the there is the three type of the uh, solvents classified uh, depending upon the toxicity so class 1 solvents so these solvents are considered to be the higher toxicity so uh, that's why uh, these are uh, put in the class 1 solvents so in which uh, benzene carbon di uh, carbon tetrachloride and 12 dichloroethane uh, uh, present in this category then class 2 
these uh, solvents have a moderate toxicity limits are set for these solvents and ensure patient safety so example includes ethanol methylene chloride toluene then class 3 solvents so the solvents with low toxicity and uh, widely used in the pharmaceutical industry so these are considered have lower risk and higher limits are allowed like acetone ethyl acetate isopropanol so how we use how we handle this uh, uh, chem uh, toxic chemicals while uh, and uh, how we quench these various chemicals like solvents and some other chemicals so we, ju we just use the uh, solvent hoods to uh, uh, to prevent the health hazard and uh, while we we're working with the, some pyrophoric chemicals uh, and some other uh, toxic chemicals and uh, like uh, uh, tertiary butyl uh, uh, and butyl lithium and sodium metal so sodium metal can be quenched by addition of the organic protic solvent under the cooling temperature usually high branch ones such as uh, tertiary butanol are used to react with the slowest so uh, what is the precaution so always wear appropriate ppe uh, personal protective equipment such as gloves and safety goggles and apron should be there then a uh, global harmonized system of the classification of the labeling of the chemical so uh, this is the uh, global classification of uh, for the labeling of the chemicals so ghs the uh, global harmonized system of classification labeling the chemicals was developed by the united nations as way to bring into agreement that chemical regulation and standard of the different countries so ghs includes criteria for classification of health physical and environmental hazard such as uh, uh, as well as uh, specifying that the information should be included on label of hazardous chemicals as well as the MSDS material safety data sheets. So uh, selected material safety data sheets. So I, I have included one uh, MSDS for the SCL. So that looks uh, that have a clear uh, in indication for the hazard prevention and uh, what uh, will be the pro uh, probable solution for that. Uh, 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 M, uh, particular chemical exposure. So uh, this is all about the uh, uh, our uh, today's lecture. So to conclude this, uh, safety is not an additional task. It is a professional responsibility, understanding hazard symbols and MSDS not only the prevent accident, but also a promotes culture of the good laboratory practices in our lab. So thank you, uh, uh, coordinator sir, uh, providing me opportunity to uh, discuss uh, the various hazard symbols and prevention controls. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kalicharan, for this wonderful lecture. And I request to all registered participants, if you have any query, please mark your attenders in the online YouTube chat box. So our eminent scientist, Dr. Kalicharan, will be replied on the same chat box. Thank you very much. Sir, recording off hogi.